How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT 3D. Now if you're like me and you've just purchased and unboxed your Bamboo Lab A1, then you may be wondering what to print first. Well today I'm going to walk you through the 7 things that you need to print first on your Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Some of these come already pre-sliced on the printer itself and others are just some nice quality of life upgrades that I'll have linked in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get printing. Now I usually only keep my list to 7, however this time I have 2 honourable mentions which I'll cover first. Of course the first honourable mention is the Benchy which is preloaded on the A1. Now for those of you that are new to 3D printing, you may be wondering what this cute little boat is and why it's called a Benchy. Benchy is short for benchmark as this print is a great way to test your printer's capabilities. It is designed to test how well your printer deals with overhangs, large smooth curves, tiny surface details, cylindrical shapes, and much, much more. Now, for those of you that are familiar with Benchies, will know that this print usually takes around 40 minutes to over an hour on older printers. However, this is not the case these days or with the Bamboo Lab A1. Bamboo Lab has sliced this file themselves and have somehow reduced the print to an impressive 21 minutes, which includes the 7 minute calibration and bed level. So essentially a 14 minute Benchy. I definitely recommend printing this first as seeing the speed this prints at in person will blow you away. Bamboo Lab supplies you with a bamboo scraper blade in the accessories box. Now I learnt this with my X1 Carbon but stored in the printer's onboard memory is a file that allows you to print your very own scraper that the blade slides onto and that is the same here. It takes just over an hour to print and comes with a stand to hold it in. This is a great idea in my opinion and it works very well. Now on to the main 7. The first object on this list is a purge bucket. The purge bucket is a must have as every time your printer loads and unloads filament, it will purge an amount of filament and shoot it out the left hand side of the machine through its purge wiper. If you purchased an AMS light, your printer will also purge an amount of filament every time you change colour to ensure your colours don't get mixed in your print. Now there's plenty of different STL files available for purge buckets, however I have chosen this one as it's a multicolour print and it contains the Bamboo Lab logo on the front. The second object on this list is a deflector. The deflector is a great way to help reduce some mess when multicolour printing and changing filament as the A1 purges its filament on the left hand side of the machine by quickly flicking its head against the purge wiper. This then flicks filament off the head and honestly in a wide number of directions. This deflector works very well and helps aim the purge filament into the purge bucket and in my opinion is a must print for all A1 owners. The third object on this list is a PTFE tube removal tool. The PTFE tube removal tool is a little handy tool that makes removing the guide tubes from the AMS light and AMS light filament hub a lot easier. It only takes 11 minutes to print and simply slides over the top of the PTFE tube and once pressed down into the connector, easily removes the guide tubes. The next object on this list is a filament Y splitter. This is a must have for people who have an AMS light unit that also want to print non-compatible AMS materials. The Y splitter makes it easier to swap from using the AMS to using an external spool of filament as you don't have to constantly remove and reinsert the guide tube connecting from the AMS light to the printer. Simply connect the Y splitter to the machine and use the guide tube from the AMS light to connect to one side of the Y splitter and the second to connect to an external spool on your spool holder. You'll need a little extra bit to connect to the AMS light filament hub on the printer itself, uh, which you can either snip from a pre-existing guide tube or you can just buy a little bit of PDFA tube online. Next up is probably my favorite print on this list, a toolbox. 
This toolbox is 100% 3D printable and is designed to fit all the accessories that came with the A1, as well as spots for the 0 0.2, 0 0.6 and 0.8mm hot ends. It also has a spare section below the hot ends for extra parts and accessories. This rugged box will keep all your tools safe and together and you'll never be frantically searching for the correct Allen key needed to tighten the screw again. The penultimate object on this list is not specifically for the A1, however it is for something that comes with the A1, a swatch display holder. This swatch display holder is designed to fit all the filament swatches that come with the A1. It is a great way to not only store them but to view them as it uses a bearing to allow the top section to be spun, popping the selected swatch up for better viewing. The final item on this list is a build plate aligner tool. Now if you're finding it difficult to align your build plate perfectly on the bed of your A1, then this is definitely the print for you. I've personally noticed that sometimes it is a little bit difficult to perfectly sit the build plate on the bed, as the aligners at the end are very small and flimsy and the magnets on the bed are very strong. This build plate aligner pops up slightly higher than the current aligners and is stronger allowing for a solid surface for you to push the build plate against when reinstalling the bed. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you printed any of these or if you have any other suggestions, feel free to drop them down there too. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe. And as always, happy printing.